savvy. Hey, 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 what's up, my savvy squad? It's your girl, Kiki, back with another epic adventure. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of the Islamic world, the Kaaba. Ever wondered what's the deal with that big black cube in Mecca? Well, buckle up because we're about to get all up in its history, culture, and everything in between. Let's go. All right, first things first, the history. The Kaaba is like the OG of holy sites. According to Islamic tradition, it was built by the prophet Ibrahim. Yep, that's Abraham for all you Bible buffs. And his son Ismail on Allah's instructions. This was way back in the day, like ancient history level. Fast forward to 630 CE, when the prophet Muhammad rolled into Mecca, he cleared out all the idols and rededicated the Kaaba to the worship of Allah alone. Talk about a major renovation. So let's talk location. The Kaaba is smack dab in the middle of the Grand Mosque in Mecca. This place is like the ultimate VIP section for Muslims. Made of granite and covered in a black silk and gold curtain called the Kizwa, it gets a wardrobe change every year. Fancy, right? And let's not forget the black stone. That's like the holy bling embedded in the eastern corner. Pilgrims get super excited to kiss or touch it during their tawaf, which is basically walking around the Kaaba seven times. Think of it like NASCAR, but way holier. Now, why is the Kaaba such a big deal? For starters, it's the Qibla the direction all Muslims face when they pray. Imagine millions of people around the world synchronizing their spiritual GPS to this one spot. And if you're doing the Hajj or Umrah pilgrimage, the Kaaba is your main event. Hajj happens once a year and it's like the biggest spiritual festival ever. We're talking millions of Muslims gathering to perform rituals, pray, and of course circle the Kaaba. Speaking of rituals, let's get savvy with some details. During Hajj, pilgrims perform tawaf around the Kaaba, then do sa'i a brisk walk between the hills of Safa and Marwa. It's like their version of a spiritual marathon. Hajj is in the Islamic month of Du al hijjah but Umrah can be done anytime. It's like a year-round open invite to God's house. So why is the Kaaba so important to Muslims? It represents unity and the oneness of Allah. It's a place where everyone is equal before God, no matter who you are. Plus, it's a major reminder of their faith and commitment. The Kaaba is like the heart of Islam, beating with the devotion of millions of Muslims worldwide. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. So if you've had fun or learned anything, do us a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, share. That stuff really helps out the channel. We really need your help in building our community. We release polls at 9 a.m. Eastern every day. You can find them on our community tab, a short video at 2.15 p.m. daily, and a longer type video every other day. We'd love to hear from you. Leave us a hello in the comments below. Also, you can check out the super links we have in the description for Savvy Travel Gear to help keep you safe on your next journey. Or if you prefer, you could simply buy me a coffee with the QR code on the screen or with the link in the description below. We are so grateful for your love and support of the channel. Remember to be kind, be gentle with yourself, and know that you are appreciated. Peace.